Hi, I'm Adam Katz. We're in the middle of traveling, and we're here in a hotel room. Now, me, and my wife, and uh, the dog. One of the dogs, anyways. And um, I wanted to answer a question, and I figured it'd be easier to answer by doing a quick video. Ryan, on our discussion forum at dogproblems.com, uh, we've been having a back-and-forth di dialogue about this dog. He's got a, a young dog, I think. If I remember correctly, it's a puppy between uh, about 12 to 14 weeks of age. Um, so still pretty young. And he had a couple of follow-up questions. He asks, how long is a good amount of time to leave her in the crate uh, between outings? Is 60 to 90 minutes too long or too short? Really for, let's say the puppy's 13 to 14 weeks old, um, 60, if I had to take the dog out every 60 to 90 minutes, it would drive me crazy. So you're really kind of putting too much work on yourself. Um, I, I mean, at this age, you can leave her in the crate for, you know, four or maybe five hours at a time if you need to. I mean, I would shoot for about four hours on, that, on average, uh, and then expect that she could probably be sleeping through the night at this point. Um, so that, that's as far as how long she can stay in the crate, so you don't have to kill yourself. Um, he says, what are some good activities for her outings? I suggested letting her romp around the yard uh, with the leash, leash attached and maybe throwing the ball for her. Basically, I like to keep all of the interaction time between the puppy at this age very productive and positive. So uh, anything, anytime I take the dog or the puppy out of the crate, it's going to be to start um, doing little games, but games that are uh, imprinting some of the commands. So we could use food or the ball to associate, for example, the word sit or down with uh, putting the dog in that position. But uh, we're not going to start correcting the dog because the dog's a little bit too young for that. So if you're finding that the puppy's attention really isn't on you or the, the puppy's attention is wandering off to other things, you could um, take her back in and put her in the crate if you want. Uh, the next question he asks is, what is a good minimum amount of time to have her out for each outing? Well, again, it just, it just depends on um, what the dog's giving you. I mean, you can keep her out as long as she's, she's focusing on you. As the attention starts to wander off, then I would you know, bring her inside. And then uh, his final question is, is the puppy is too high energy and not listening? Uh, not for biting, but for other unwanted behaviors. Is it best to just put her in the crate and wait for the next time, the next play time? Well, you want to look at it, if she's, if she's doing unwanted behaviors, look at that as an opportunity to teach her, to correct her. Um, now, if you find yourself getting uh, frustrated or distracted, then, you know, put her in the crate. So, remember that a young puppy will sleep between... 80 to 90 percent of any 24-hour cycle. They're either sleeping or resting. So by confining her in the crate, it's kind of like a playpen uh, or an exercise pen for a child, for a, for a baby. Um, you, know, you put the dog in that confined area so that you can focus on other things. I'm Adam Katz for DogProblems.com.